Hi guys, Dean Stewart with Great Plains. We're gonna walk through getting hooked up to the tractor. Now I know this may seem like a pretty simple approach, just back up and hook it up, but there are a few things we need to make sure we get right and help us later down the road. One of the things I wanted to point out as I'm standing by this three point is this three point has a lot of sway in it. Now that's not gonna be ideal. What we need to do is we need to make sure that the three point arms are shimmed so they're snug on the back of the tractor and not so tight that they'll cause problems, but as snug as we can get them. Also, when we're hooking up to the three-point part of the planter itself, there are some spacer blocks that go in down here on the pins. We need to make sure that we have those spacer blocks in there and maybe additional washers, depending on the category of hitch that you're hooking to with the tractor. All in all, we need to make sure that we don't have a lot of slop or a lot of play in our connections. We need to make sure that everything is fairly well snug tight. I've got Mike Feldman in the tractor cab. He's going to help me back the tractor up, and we're going to go ahead and get the three-point hooked up to the planter. Once we get hooked up, we need to make sure we latch the three-point arms down. And on our two-section planter, a YP-12 or a YP-16, <clears throat> we've got a jack stand here that will for sure be down, and also two jack stands up here. The jack stand on a three-section planter will come completely off and go up beside the tongue, and on a two-section planter, this will swing up. Once we get those three pieces put where they need to be, we're ready to go on with hydraulic hookups. Uh, for more informational videos and other information, please visit greatplainsag.com. Thank you for joining us.